Hi. Please introduce yourself. I'm Chris Haggerty. I'm representing Organic Vapor Jet Printing today. All right. And um, you, you printing displays, or what are you doing? We're developing equipment that a display manufacturer would use to manufacture a television. And this, this promises to be more efficient and cost effective than present technologies. Is this printed display? This is a printed display, but not, not what you're seeing actually, the actual display is here. Display is right there. So it's a very small scale device, it's a test device. And it's meant to illustrate our technology, not so much shown here as shown here, in that we can deposit any organic layer. Our nice. primary market is what's called the emissive layer, the, the color chemical that, that UDC manufactures. But we, since our technology is its general purpose with regard to organic molecules, we were challenged by one prospective customer to deposit all the layers, and we did. And that was a stretch goal, we were very proud of it. So all the layers, what does that mean? There's nothing left to do? It means- You have it, the whole it, thing? From, from the, the, we didn't deposit the anode, that's part of the structure of the, of the the LED device, these are all the, the organic layers that comprise the color uh, aspect of a pixel. And these graphs indicate that we are comparable to the present day technology in every respect. Which color are you are? We are the green. The, the incumbent technology is, v, is VTE, vacuum thermal evaporation. So we're, we're on par or slightly better than uh, VTE. And what are all these EIL and? They're different layers involved in the device stack. The EML is the emissive layer, that's the color layer. This is a whole HBL whole blocking, electron transport, electron injection, and you have a kind of a counter on the other side, the electron blocking, hole trans transfer, hole injection. So we're basically, inje you're injecting holes on one side, and electrons on the other side, exciting the emissive material in the middle. So, so uh, I'm just a YouTuber, I'm not an expert, right? right. But uh, these pixels look very, <coughs> uh, precise and good, everything's there, or? It's distorted, David, you're seeing it's actually distorted, and that's that's really having to do with this lens. It, it, it's, it, the, the actual device is show, represented probably, or the, the, the pro, our process is probably better represented in the more uniform area you see there. So you have precision, everything's going, everything's good? The idea of this technology is that you're printing only where you need the material to be, whereas the incumbent technology deposits material over the entire surface, and you, and you get material only where you want it by blocking it. So you mask it, and then the material that goes through the mask and deposits in a pixel. In this case, we deposit directly in the pixel with no mask. That's the, that's the essential economic pros, uh, proposition, maskless deposition. And Masks are expensive. So that's also cheaper because you would not use so much material. It is, it's true, it's in aggregate. You have, it, going, when I say in aggregate, in other words, you, you need to replace a, an entire equipment set to get the advantage. So it's a very disruptive technology and it's gonna take some years to develop it. We're, we are seeking a customer that will help us develop it actually. Here at the display week, I'm expecting to see a bunch of printed displays, no? Are there I, some? You, you will see um, very limited application of printed displays. Limited so very far li still. Very limited, yes. There are some prototypes BOE was showing a couple, f four years ago, but uh, there was just prototypes. CSOT was showing some stuff, and, and the whole question is, how soon mass production? They were talking about $100 for 100 inch, you know, like getting the price down. Mm -hmm. The question is, how, how good is the life of such a device? Because you want to use a TV for 10 years. That's right. Is and that the, possible? Yes, and the, the thing, here's the, the the idea of this technology is that it enables you to make a more efficient LED. Um, that we, our technology is compatible with a device structure that's known, but not yet in production. Um, side by side, top emission micro cavity is the technology name. And this technology is an enabler for that. All right. Cool. Okay. And uh, here you have colleagues talking about some other part here. How big is the company? Uh, UDC, the parent company, is approximately a billion dollar uh, enterprise. Billion? Yes. All right. Uh, what is this part here? This is UDC, the Universal Display Corporation, the a materials company. Okay. And we, we, they, they invested as well um, in their materials business. They also invested in the, tech, the underlying technology 
that makes printing, dry printing, possible. So it's showing a clear, um, is it quantum dots? No, no. What's shown here is, th this is just the, the this is actually a, dis a, a display of the color spectrum. Is that right here? That, yeah. Pardon me? Oh, sure. But you can stand right here so yeah. I can film. Yeah. This is a display of the color spectrum that measures the quality of color that humans can appreciate. This is just a graph. It's a sophisticated graph. All right. Cool. Yeah. All right. Oh, do you want to speak about this? Yeah? No, not really. <laughs> do you want okay. to speak about cool. it? Cool. Okay. Cool. Okay. Do you, know oh. you know about yeah. our, our technology? Yeah. Please. Intru do you want to introduce yourself? Sure. Yeah. Jeff Silvernail, Universal Display. I'm one of the engineers that right. work for Universal Display. Yeah. Um, we're showing here the narrow spectra of our blue, red, and green emitters that we can, you know, how, how narrow it is. And then for improving the efficiency of our devices, we're showing the plasmonic uh, devices. Now we put a film on top of the OLED to enhance the uh, light output. Nice. So we look at that as going to be the next generation of how we go from our phosphorescent uh, yes. energy efficiency to, to now the plasmonic to get more light out of the actual device. And UDC and OVJP has the same logo? Yes. UDC is the parent company. OVJP Corp is a subsidiary of ours. Wholly owned subsidiary. Nice. And they're based in Santa Clara and we are yeah. based in Ewing, New Jersey. Alright. Uh, so how far are the printed displays? How far? How far in the future? Oh, they're probably, uh, you have to talk to manufacturers because we're not a manufacturer, probably somewhere on the order of three to five years. Before That's we... soon. Yeah. So, we have... In... Okay. Okay? Cool. Thanks a lot. Yeah. Somewhere in yeah. Three to five, yep. Yeah, three to five. That sounds, that's very soon in display world. I think so. Right? Yeah. Yes. That's just uh, one display week for me. Because it's probably going to be more like a Gen 4 type size, to, to, to then expanding it to be maybe a little bit larger, but we're still... There's still a lot of development that needs to take so place. The first generation is not going to be the 85 inch or 100 inch 8K displays. No, you have, you, the, the technology has to be developed. There's, there's a there's a level, there's a thing that device manufacturers go through. Um, it's integration with process. So this is a, an entirely new process. It has to be vetted against the customer's device and all the interactions with the rest of the equipment in the line. So it's going to we need we need a customer that can work with us in all that right. capacity. And here's uh, your presentation materials here. And uh, I guess there's a lot of colleagues here in the industry. Everybody's checking the latest and That's trying to idea. get to the next level. Yep. Exactly. Cool. That's the idea. Thanks a lot. You bet. You guys can send me some money. You can send me money on WISE. It's really smart. Oh, you don't have to send me money. You can send money to your friends, to your family. Are they in a different country? Do you need to use currency tra transfer, like to different country transfer? Do you need to pay for stuff? Do you want to travel around the world and pay for stuff? Tiny little fees. It's so much cheaper. This is a Visa debit card. Uh, check out my video where I explain some more. It works in 100 countries all over the world maybe 150, it's crazy. And it's really amazing and it's free. You can sign up, use your Android Pay, your Apple Pay, or order this optional seven euro debit card and just pay for stuff around the world. It's great to pay for stuff, right? Or send some money, tiny little fees, it's smart. Check it out.